Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. I'm gonna be taming a Stego today. So they got uh, kind of some different stats when they had the TLC patch not too long ago. So there's some new modes on it, three different modes that it does different things. Um, some of them help out with harvesting wood, thatch, berries, and then I think it has some different defenses. So we're gonna go ahead and tame one. We have one very close. There's a couple over there, a couple low level ones and a 130, and I think the other one was a 145. It'll also give us a chance to try out our cooking pot because they use a kibble that I think we have some Velanosaur eggs in here. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take these out. Actually, probably just going to need one. The way I have my taming stats set. And then we need to build a saddle. What does a saddle need? I haven't tamed a stego in so long. Fiber hide in wood. We'll grab a stack at all these. Man, it's so nice having all the storage finally set up. Easy to get to everything. One saddle coming up. Go ahead and put all this extra stuff back. Let's grab our rifle real quick before I forget. Should have it in here. Dude, we haven't tamed anything in a while, man. Oh. Plenty of air are darts. Go ahead and just take a full stack. No telling how many we'll need. And let's see. We need to grab some jerky, fiber, long grass, and some root. So let's grab, I think I have it in here, some jerky. Yes, I do. And then where's, let's see, berries are all, every, everything's kind of mixed up over here. I haven't really paid attention to what's where. Citronella. Ah, here we go. So what else are we missing? I think that's it. Oh, some fiber. Grab a stack, throw in there, and that should be everything for a kibble. Shouldn't take too long to cook up. There we go. Nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and throw these back in the fridge. Just so that they don't go bad. And I think I'm going to change my food out for jerky since we have all of the uh, bins up there that I put. So what are we missing, man? I think we have everything that we need. Shouldn't need any narc. I will take some berries just in case. Or we'll take some... Eh, take some berries. I think we'll ride this guy over there. But we're gonna end up... We can't shoot off of him, so we'll just... Leave him over here just in, just in case, because there are defenders over here. And I don't want any problems. What level are you? You look nice. Ah, low level. All right, man. Which one are you? Okay, you're the 145. What was the other one? I think it was a 130? I don't know. We'll go ahead and do him. But I got him passive. And leave him there. Get some tranks into this guy. Get him asleep. Shouldn't take too long. Tell you what, I should have brought my cat, man. He can, uh, he can be shot off of. They changed some stuff on, I think they changed it on the, uh, Thyla as well. A lot of different stuff, man. A lot of good changes and stuff with the way that some of the teams are, dinos are. So we definitely need to tame a Thyla since that's one of my favorite mounts and see what he changed. I think he's got like a bleed effect now. And unfortunately there's no ocean on this map, but the Meg's got to change too. They get like a pack bonus or something now. Hello, can I shoot? Oh man, I hate whenever you get on something when you're trying to reload. Should have just made a tech suit then I could float above them. I might do that. I have a Giga that I found. Been wanting to do the Gigas for the drop pods. So there was a level, I think it was a 145 over by the snow biome. We'll be... Oh, dude. Are we like... Oh, that's one of his new things. I was like, dude, we're glitched. Oh, he drained my stamina totally. Well, 
I'm glad I'm not on foot. Tell you what, let's get him down here. And we'll climb up there. And then... We'll shoot him off of that. So yeah, the Gigas. We'll be taming one of those probably in the next video. I need to get my stuff together and get a trap ready. And I'm thinking about setting up some tech gear. That way we have the backpack, you know, so we can get around easier and try to do it without a mount. Dude got smart, man. Oh, he's running. Oh, nice. He must be close. It's all right, buddy. I got some food for you, man. We're going to be very good friends. Don't hit the para. Holy crap, we're going like halfway across the map, dude. Guess I should have been doing headshots this whole time. It's alright, though. He's in a very lovely corner here. Dude, he has gone through 40 darts already. I don't remember him taking this long before. Nice, there we go. Holy crap. Tell you what, let's let him sit there for a minute. I'm gonna go back and get my enforcer. And then we'll throw the kibble in him and a little bit of berries. And it shouldn't take but just a minute for him to tame up. All right, dude. Let's go ahead and throw some food into you. Oh, man, I should have made the other one. All right, I'm going to sit here for a few minutes with him and let him finish taming up. I'm probably going to go back and make that other piece of kibble real quick. That way it won't take as long. Very nice. There's our stego. Let's see what he turned out to be. So he's a level 217. Health is at 4,500. Stamina is at 1,200. Weight is at 750. That's pretty good. I don't think their weight usually gets that high. Damage is at 370. Oh my gosh. Movement speed 196. Dude, this thing's going to be zooming around. Let's go ahead and throw a saddle on him. Well, I say zooming. You got to remember it is a stego. So <laughs> this, is a, this is equivalent to mock speed. The, uh, the spines on his back look cool. So, how do we change... So, if you look in the top right up there, we're on the hardened mode. So, he gets damage reduction, prevent dismount. So, I guess in something like a Perlovia, we can't get knocked off of anymore from. So, there's hardened plate mode, heavy plate mode, and sharpened plate mode. How do we change the modes? Not with that button. Okay, here we go. So there's the different modes there. Let's get rid of this real quick. Let's put it into damage. Alright, so the mode that we have it on now is sharpened. So you get armor penetration. And it prevents dismount. So everything, I guess, prevents dismount. So armor. This is the hardened plate that gives us a damage reduction. And then this one... Applies slow. So it must slow down whatever we're going to fight. Hmm, let's try it. Yeah, look how slow he goes. Oh, dude, that's so easy to uh, keep stuff away from you then. Let's check out the other one real quick. So it does the same amount of damage. Oh, don't run, man. Oh, you're going to do that. It's cool how the spines change color, too. He does that little shake. Hey, we should be able to keep him from running with the heavy plate on. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, his, uh, his spines actually changed position, too. Dude, what level is this guy? Oh, he was getting a bonus. That's what it was. Yeah, you can try to run, man. It ain't gonna work out for you, though. Dude, that's awesome to keep stuff from running away from you, though, when you're trying to fight them. 
can we shoot off of this guy? Oh, we can. Nice, okay. That'd be good to be taking out honey then. Oh, you gonna come back? <laughs> yeah, you should've, should've stayed away, man. We'll check it out on some trees real quick here too, because it's supposed to change the amount you get, I think, too. You know, with a almost 200% movement speed, he still moves pretty slow. All right, let's find a tree to beat on real quick before we go. All right, so let's start off with sharpened plate mode. So sharpened is supposed to help with berry gathering. And this one's supposed to help out with wood harvesting. Oh my gosh, 483 on the wood. And this one's supposed to be for thatch. Oh wait, no, that's the berry one. Dude, that's a ton of berries. Yeah, sharpened one is the one for the thatch. Yeah, almost 500 thatch. Less wood on that one. Awesome, man. Dude, that's pretty cool that they changed that stuff. Let's get rid of some of this weight real quick so we can actually move. Oh my gosh, the berries. Dude, we don't need to be farming anymore. <laughs> that's what happens, man. Dude, we got a ton of points. Let's put them into... Put a couple into health just to keep them alive. I'll heal them up back at base with a snow owl. But, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Awesome stuff, man. I like the new changes with the Stegos. I'm kind of curious to see about the Thyla. And then when we change maps to one that possibly will have water, see what the Meg's got to change to. I think they get like a pack bonus now. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.